What we have here are thin film solar panels manufactured by United Solar here in Greenville. And this is the first installation that we have in our community. This happens to be in our airport terminal. And uh, this is just one of many projects that we have slated uh, for the city of Greenville. By the end of the fall, we will have installed over 300 kilowatts of uh, uh, solar uh, panels on municipal and, and public facilities. Hey, we have a great opportunity here to put a Michigan-made product on the roof of this facility and have it be a showcase for other terminals. What this does now is offsets the load in the facility that makes it more energy efficient and the product is warrantied for 25 years. We are the first city uh, to receive uh, the EARP uh, program uh, approval from Consumers Energy and we will have 250 kilowatts of energy uh, solar panels on uh, uh, City Hall and uh, some more hangars over here at the airport. Through the EECBG program, we're able to uh, retrofit City Hall with energy efficient lighting, uh, computer servers, and other things that will draw down our uh, electric use substantially. And then we are going to put in a 17 kilowatt system on uh, the community center that's going to offset that load probably by, by about 40 percent. So the city of Greenville is going to see substantial savings as a result uh, on, our, on our electrical use. We have a really cool and unique public-private partnership with United Solar Vonic, the city of Greenville, and Greenville Public Schools, and that we want to be the first community that we are aware of that will be totally uh, dependent on alternative energy, whether it be solar, biomass, or wind. And we're working on the other two, but right now we're focusing on the solar. United Solar Avonic was seriously considering South Carolina as the place to invest uh, uh, into new manufacturing. We were able to sway them to come to Greenville. And when we did that, uh, they invested almost a half a billion dollars in facilities and are, have created over 400 jobs on pace to create 800 jobs here in our community that desperately needs it. And they're wonderful people, they have a wonderful product, and we said, hey, let's make our facilities a flagship demonstration for you so that people can come in and see that it works. We produce uh, solar material through our chemical vapor deposition process. We make uh, triple junction solar cells through our amorphous silicon uh, semiconductor line. It means we take uh, webs of stainless steel and we deposit very thin films, which uh, constitutes our solar material. We convert the, those films into electricity. On a cloudy day, or with snow, these panels are so sensitive that they can uh, uh, capture that, that uh, sunlight and turn it into electricity. Our customers are commercial rooftop buildings, primarily, uh, similar to what you see here. Uh, because our products are lightweight, flexible, thin film products, uh, but this is unique where the manufacturing is uh, right here in Greenville and we're supplying products to uh, the city of Greenville. You know, when we set out to do this, we're, we're not, when we're still not sure how we're going to get to the end goal, but we know that there are opportunities that come up where we can get grant funding, where we can partner and, and make this economically feasible. The EECBG program afforded us an opportunity to get a grant funding to put the 17 kilowatt system on the community center. We have had a wonderful response. Uh, recently, we, put, we were awarded the Quality Energy Conservation Bond and the local bank stepped up and gave us a wonderful interest rate because they said they want to see this project succeed. They want to see our community succeed and they believe that we have a recipe for success. At least from the council standpoint, we're, we're excited because what we want to do is keep the cost for the uh, community down as low as possible, keep the millage down again as, as much as we can and any of the cost savings we can pass on to the citizens is, uh, is great. Yeah, we generate, uh, the city of Greenville utilizes about $300,000 of electricity a year. Uh, uh, throughout the, the city. The schools are just a little bit more than that. And, you know, our point is that it's great for the environment if we can get uh, solar panels on all of our roofs and even create a solar field, which is part of our project to do. Yeah, we, we played off uh, the name Greenville. I think it's, uh, it's an interesting twist of fate that, uh, you know, all of this alternative energy is coming about and our name is Greenville and we, we truly want to make it that.